Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. The park is open till 8 p.m. tonight and that is super rare. In fact, it's the first time in 2021 and it doesn't look like it's open past 7 p.m. for the next three months. We're gonna be able to enjoy Animal Kingdom at night. Let's go do this. The whole month of December, I wasn't able to see any of the Christmas lights turned on because the park closed at 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, and then I think it was only open till 6 and 7 on the weekends. So I didn't get to see any of the real Christmas lights. And all the way up until right now is the only time I've been able to come when it's open during the nighttime. And honestly, it is a big deal because Pandora at night is absolutely stunning. I love looking at Everest during the night too. It just makes the park a little bit better. I'm also just really excited to be able to show you any new activities and festivities happening because this is just such a remarkable park. Look at that tree of life there. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's also a perfect day for Animal Kingdom. Not too hot, it's about 80 degrees and very windy. Whenever I see the trees actually blowing in the wind, I feel good. When you have the sun and the wind at the same time, it's like the perfect combination. I'm gonna head right on over to Dino Land USA. One thing I wanna make sure I do at night is be in Pandora to check out all the bioluminescent plant life and also see the tree of life come to life. I haven't seen that in months. I want to definitely ride Dinosaur, but also I want to check out the new cocktail at Restaurantosaurus Lounge. That's one of my favorite lounges, and right now, I think it's just grab-and-go, but it's still very cool and themed. Right here is the Restaurantosaurus Lounge, and they always have some pretty amazing themed drinks. I mean, come on, Tequilasaurus? That's amazing! They actually have tables in here now. Wow, we can actually sit down and kind of just have a drink right here. I'm actually joined up with my friend Erica, all things parks, and we're gonna get the drinks. This is the Tealy Asaurus? Teal. Like the color teal. Oh! And then this is another one. This is the Elixir Extinction. These are all like hidden drinks. They're not on the menu. Oh wow, this is fancy. They're very colorful too. Now that we got them out in the light a little bit, they look so colorful. I mean, this one's basically a purple Long Island iced tea. And then the Tealosaurus, the one Erica got, that's more of a bourbon drink, right? Yeah. Cheers to extinction. <laughs> and getting that dino or yes. not because they're closed. <laughs> oh, oh, I think we're going to make it. Now that I'm finishing up my drink, I think we're actually going to go ride dinosaur. I'm excited. It's fast, it's a blast, and it's in the past. I didn't do that really cool. Look at that big, beautiful dinosaur. This is one of my favorite rides, actually, in all of Walt Disney World. It's so thrilling, and I can see why kids think it's scary. So the last time that I was actually at Dinosaur, they didn't have this inside, like, taped up queue. They uh, just let you walk right through, but look at this. It's like a construction zone. The posted wait time said 30 minutes, and it was actually just about a 15 minute wait. How funny is that? Perfect, we got row number one. That means no plexiglass. Honestly though, I don't think the plexiglass really affects this ride that much. Living with the land, it's horrible. I don't even understand why they have plexiglass there, but this ride, I don't mind it. And if it can mean more people getting on, I think it's a good thing. is just legit so much fun i know that it's a little dark in there so i try to set the exposure really high so you can see a little bit more than you normally would but i love it it's so much fun i love the narration and i just love everything about it 
It's starting to get a little dark out. The lights for Dino Ramos coming on, and I think we're gonna head on over to Expedition Everest. I always say Animal Kingdom is the hottest park, especially at like high noon, but later on in the evening, it's so breezy and beautiful. That's what makes it fun at night, and that's another reason I'm so excited to be here, because you don't get to experience a cool night at Animal Kingdom very often. We decided to give it a little time before we hop on Expedition Everest, so we came in to the Rivers of Light Stadium, grabbed ourselves a spiced excursioned ale. Now, this beer is only sold at Skipper Canteen in, in this park, and it's just such a beautiful feeling sitting down here. We got the moon up there, all the clouds, and hearing the people scream as they <laughs> fall down Expedition Everest. It's amazing. It definitely got a lot darker, and I'm excited to ride Expedition Everest at night. It really does enhance the experience. Did you hear the screams? I heard the screams, I'm about to scream. Look at that. It's beautiful. It says 25 minutes, which is perfect because by the time we get in there, it's gonna be much darker. Look at those lights. This is so beautiful at night. Look at this. I like how they actually have this on display right here. Oh, now we're coming back out and turning back in. That was literally like a 10 minute wait. It said 25 minutes, but we got through that in no time. I wonder if this still puts your name on these posters up here. I see Lori, Mary Kate, but I don't see nothing for Erica or Nathan. What the heck? <laughs> and number one, lucky row number one. Oh, here comes our lucky train, the ARS. Expedition Everest team members. What's on board? I love how this ride starts off kind of like as a nice, like relaxing ride through the like forest. And then that's when it gets crazy. But look at this. This is like a nice relaxing ride through the forest at night. Oh, here it comes. Absolutely amazing. Honestly, this is one of those rides that it is. It's, it's so much better at night. So more thrilling at night. That definitely got the blood moving. While we're in the gift shop, I want to show you my favorite Yeti statue. Look at this guy. This is right in the gift shop. I always point him out because a lot of people miss it, but that is so frightening, isn't it? Look at those claws. I love it. But now it is officially Animal Kingdom at night and it is absolutely glorious. We're gonna head on over towards Pandora, but first we're gonna go through Africa, see if they got anything going on. I don't know if they're doing the safari this late at night. They used to have such an amazing fake sunset on the safari that I used to love, but I don't think they do that anymore. So we'll find out. We'll see if it's running or not. This is one of my favorite parts of walking through Animal Kingdom at night. Over here by the Up Bird Show, you can see these beautiful lights. Isn't it amazing? One time I used to think it was for the holidays and then I realized it was just year round. It's so bright over here, I love it. And of course we can see the Tree of Life 
is coming alive, I think we're gonna actually step out there and get a look at the front of it. That show is something I've missed so much. Look at how beautiful that is though. Amazing. You can see the lights in the trees. Oh boy, we can see it down here. Looks like most of all of Africa is closed, so Kilimanjaro Safaris is not running, which is kind of sad. I would love to see seen that fake sunset, but the Dawa bar is open. I think that's about it. It's the only thing that's open over here. I miss the little performances that they do on this stage. It's kind of crazy to see it like this because usually it's very crowded and popular over here. Now I think we're just gonna head right on over into Pandora. Like I said, I'm very excited to see all the pretty colors. It is such an amazing thing at night. And rumor on the street is they actually just redid some of the lights. So hopefully it's a little bit brighter. I'm also super excited for the Festival of the Lion King to open up again. They did call back all of the performers. So any day now, any day we're gonna be going into customs. As we're walking in, do you hear all of the crickets? And it also looks like this is the line for Flight of Passage right here. Probably a good 60 minute wait. I like how they have a little light on top of the sign to let you know that we're entering the Valley of Mora. Welcome to Avatar. Please get in line for Flight of Passage. But look how amazing this is. It's so bright in here and you can see all the plants. What do you got? Look how my mask kind of glows in the dark. Look at this. I feel really fancy walking through Pandora with the glow in the dark mask. Look at me. Are you fancy? I'm fancy. It's upside down. It, it, oh, no way. <laughs> Much better, but I like how it's actually glow in the dark. I'm so happy Erica told me. I actually do that all the time. It's because I swatch out my mask, like kind of like on a maybe hour. I like to have like a clean mask all the time. So I always have backup masks that I actually put in between the attractions. I always change them out and they end up coming sometimes upside down. It just happens, but now it looks great, doesn't it? But now we're gonna walk through and I'm gonna be able to find out what the wait time for Flight of Passage is. Like I said, from that line back there, I probably would say a good maybe 60 minute wait. Not too sure, but we'll find out. Yeah, it's exactly 60 minutes. I kind of tell, I could I could have tell like that that's how long it would have been. 60 minutes is not too bad. I'm not really interested in Ronnie Flight of Passage right now. I just want to experience the land over here because it's so beautiful. Like I said, you don't get to see it at night this often. Look at all these pods. Fun fact. I have one of these sitting in my house and it actually stays lit just like this all night long. I love it. Look at all of that, isn't it beautiful? Can you hear like that animal noise? I love how my shoes actually even glow in the dark. Look at that fanciness. <laughs> now the park is closing so I think we're gonna head out to the front of the park and actually watch a little bit of the Tree of Life show. We did a little bit from the backside before, but I think it's a little bit better when you're actually facing the front wards area. I don't know if the projections are different, but I, see, I, I feel like it is a little bit better, so we'll see. Look at that. It looks like we might have caught the end of the show as we were walking up. 
but look at how beautiful the Tree of Life looks from here. I'm a little sad. I thought maybe they would do one more run, but I guess not. Oh, wait. Oh, I think it's happening. <gasps> maybe we lucked out. It's a Disney miracle. Look at this. Would you look at that? Wasn't that like a Disney miracle? I was thinking like, oh, I wish that it was actually gonna play again. And I thought that it wasn't because the park is officially closed, but it did. So that's so awesome that we were able to catch it. And it was such an amazing night tonight at Animal Kingdom. I'm so happy that I was able to come out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. So we'll see you next time. Look at all the bubbles. Bye.